intervention for We're here because we, lo we love you my poor fishing <laughs> skills yeah pretty much i mean i i don't ever go to louisiana and expect to not catch fish That's the spot. Like yeah. I can, I can go out and look for redfish where I live, but it doesn't necessarily translate to being successful. But Winter. in terms of fisheries and success and the type of fishing we want to do, that's that's where we want to go. Winter time in Louisiana is a pretty sure bet. Yeah! Let's go! Oh boy! Oh boy! She's pissed! If I recall, the weather had been pretty good, so we weren't we weren't supposed to be washed out or muddy. We found a very nice weekend in February. Right. Yeah, it was warm. Yeah, there was like 60, no 65 degrees. It hadn't been raining. Now we went in first day, us three, we uh, made a 30, 30 mile run, 30 mile run to yeah. the outside. And um, we may have seen one or two small fish that we just ran over when we got outside, but we didn't have, we didn't have a single shot at a fish all day. Well, we got off the water that day after not catching or seeing really any viable fish. I hopped in the car and drove his rental car back to the airport in New Orleans. And I, I hopped on a flight that afternoon and flew to Memphis. Got to my hotel, did a meeting the next day. Y'all got back on the water the next day and I had a meeting in Memphis. Yep. Second day one, we struggled all day too. This was a full moon and we had a ton of shots of fish. Every single shot, these fish were just zombied. We're cruising along, I yeah. was like, put it right there. And we'd Wait. heard we'd heard oh. about the the myth of the zombie, the zombie full moon redfish. Like, nah, it's full. Yeah, Louisiana. never heard, never heard no that. No such thing. Yeah. Come on, they all eat. And he put shot after shot right down in front of them. Pop it. They come around on top of it. Move it. Normally, it's a guarantee in Louisiana. They, they just looked. kept cruising. Almost like not even it. like they looked at it. Like they looked through yeah. it. I was like, did they see yeah. the fly? Did they see yeah. the fly? Oh, Which is what we'd heard. Yeah. But I'd never seen it. You'd never seen it. It started getting stupid to the point where we were just like playing with him. I was like, okay, he's not gonna eat. Just throw it down there and watch him. Watch him not look at it. <laughs> kept cruising. We came back out with it, and then we came around the corner, kind of like a creek mouth into a bigger bay. Yeah. And then we start pushing in, and then uh, I y'all found that bend and con that where the whoa, pond was, right? Cut that out. We can't, can't say words. We can't use words. Nope, not that okay. way. Came around and I was, he was, um, he had the drone up actually. We were just kind of like, you know what? That's right, that's where that shot, out. that's where that shot came from. So he's on the yep. pulling platform, just kind of running the drone. I had the trolling motor guns. We were just literally power fishing, like cruising around, looking for anything we could see. Did you see him far out or was it like, you yeah. didn't see him until you got in casting distance and just made a Hail Mary? Water was not great. The quality was kind of shitty. So I remember looked to the right and then I was like, is that something? And then yeah, okay, definitely a fish. And then I started casting, back cast. Yeah. And then I was a little short, came back one more time. Threw it down. A second it hit, dropped it. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 shit. Sure. Because we'd have been shut down all week, like right. expecting fish to eat. Big old briefcase. Yep, briefcase. <laughs> Doritos out, <laughs> heading to work, doing the thing. So we got that fish in, and I was like, oh, shit. All right, here we go. So, and you hopped off the hopped bow. Off. I got on the pulling platform and then put Meadows up there. Like, All right, let's find you one now. And it got pretty slow again. And I remember we kept pulling for another hour and a half. We made a few like laps around the same area. And then we came in and we pushed a little further down the bay. And then we see one, he makes a cast. 
eats again. Another big fish of the exact same. But way. like no problem. Like he ate it. Like right on. Yeah. Hit it just like it should. Like not zombied at all, mm -hmm. right? Just like it should. So they turned off that afternoon from whatever their hypnosis was to being yeah actively feeding or. Almost. So those two big bulls are kind of laid up floaters, and they they ate good. We were, again, like 32 miles out, and yeah. the sun's like damn near to the horizon. So we got a good you know, hour run back. Like, all right, we gotta get out of here pretty quick. And then we looked all the way down towards the end at the edge of the bank, and I was like, is that a tail? He's like, yeah, it's definitely a tail. No, it's, yeah, yeah, it's all it hitting the light. The light was making it sparkle. A couple shrimp pops, yeah. and then call it solid tail cone. That's definitely a tailing fish. So we go all the way down. I think one of the trolling motors still at that point. <laughs> just took the trolling motor all the way down to it, and then I made a just Garbage cast. <laughs> Absolute basura. <laughs> I was in the weeds, like ripped it off the reeds. I thought you were going to say you made this it. epic Hail Mary. Oh, cast. yeah, you would think, no, absolutely not. You just spaghetti the shit out of it. And yeah, the wind was pushing us, and he was on, uh, he had a camera in his hand. Wind was blowing. I was like, okay, we had like one more chance. So I just like swing it back. Huge Hail Mary cast. Hits, yeah, just Flops spaghetti. Out. He's on it. He's on it. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. He fing ate it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that <was> awesome. <laughs> and it was a smaller fish, like 32. It was a good yeah, fish. That's but not a bad fish. That that was a topper for the day. Got that, took a few pictures, and then like literally, all right, put your shit up, we gotta go. And like raced the fing light home and we got to the ramp as it was getting like dark 30. Very dark, yeah. Like last light. But while y'all are catching fish, I'm finishing up a meeting in Memphis. And well, like Dan's gonna be furious. I'm not mad that I had to do work stuff. I mean, that's, you know, that was my responsibility, but like, I wanna be on the water with my buddies. And you came when back. I finally hear back from y'all, they're like, hey, we caught three fish today or whatever it was. I'm like, all right, well, hey, tomorrow it's on. Yeah, well, it was like, we figured it out. We got them dialed in yeah. now, Dan, come on down. Yeah, it, so I, I, I exit for 24 hours, so I'm thinking on the flight back, it's locked. Tomorrow's gonna be epic. We're all gonna have a good day. We're all gonna come tight. You know, like, this is why we came, right? That's why you go to Louisiana. So we get up, go out. Same story though. It goes from fish that not even won't look at it, but look through it, mm -hmm. which is very not redfish like. Complete disrespect and yeah. disregard for the fly. Yeah, I mean like the most opportunistic cooperative fish when you actually get a shot at it. Yep. Just see straight through it. You were making a lot of casts, a lot of shots, and there was just... I want to say, though, in my head, I don't know about y'all, but the thing in my head was, okay, well, day one, zero. Day two, slow for y'all, but you had success late in the afternoon. So I'm thinking, yeah. we just got to put in the time during the day, even if we, you know, don't get an opportunity during the day. Nice push the that tide. last push, yeah. you know, we just got to put in the time, and, you know, we'll be here at the right place at the right time. Most of the fish were you wouldn't see them until we were about to run them On over. Top of them. Like, yeah. And and at that point, it's I mean, it's hard to it's hard to make a cast to a fish that you're about to wake. Close shots. Of push the out of there with your boat. Goes. And for whatever reason, you just couldn't you couldn't make it happen. Dan. I couldn't make it happen. And and I'd like to blame the fact that we were so close to the fish that the boat was pushing them. Yeah. But at the same time, I also flopped fly after fly in front of their faces. And so I don't know if it was us or It kind of turned back into zombie mode, I feel like. Because the day that me and Ben went, the day before you were there, it was 100% batting average. One fish, shot, boom, eight. One fish, shot, boom, eight. Third of right. the same thing. But I mean, you know, I, I muffed plenty. 16, I'm 17? Muffed, yeah, I muffed plenty of shots. But I know that there were several shots that were legitimate and casts then, or legitimate flips or whatever the situation was where that fish just 
And it got to the point eased that off. Okay, we weren't spooking them either. Like, no. I mean, we'd push them off sometimes, but like, they just kind of drift out. It got to the point in the day too, where it was like nonstop shots. Like, all right, Dan, here comes another one. Left side, three o'clock. And it's like, why don't, nine o'clock. Could have might as well just not even throw at it because <laughs> <laughs> it got, it got that ridiculous where it was like, hey guys, I'm going to throw at this fish. Watch me get rejected because then we put up the drone just to prove how many fish there were and, and there was up, fish everywhere they're sitting a little deep but they we can still see them when we got on top of them but and they got to that point bottom of the ninth we're like okay we got to get dan to fish this has got to happen and we started putting the time and it started getting late again and we're like okay everybody knows like okay we should be heading back by this point but we're not because we got to get dan to fish stayed out to the golden hour stayed out i'm like all right this is where it comes this is where it happens and uh <laughs> Started getting very frustrated. I got very frustrated. I yep. was furious. Yep. Because you knew that was your last opportunity to fish, probably for a few months. Right. I think we rode back in silence. I just laid down in the hole. Very quiet, right? I just rode, I laid down in the hole and just closed my eyes. It feels a lot better to run an hour when you've yeah. caught fish than run an hour when you haven't you caught fish. Work your fish. ass off. Right. You're fighting to get back in time. Right. <laughs> still got our ass kicked today. It's not a good feeling. I think I took it as a one off because my limited experience. We, we thought it was gonna be a gimme trip. <laughs> right, right. It turns we out. We thought it was gonna be a warm up to that Columbia just trip. Just because you go to the best red fishery on the planet does not mean it's gonna be easy. <laughs> no, it was humbling, <laughs> but I kind of wrote it off as, it was just the zombie fish, it's not us, it's not me. I'm still gonna be fine when we get to Columbia. <laughs> you know, in hindsight, it, maybe the beginning of the, the idea of I'm actually cursed. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the moral of the story we're starting to learn. 